Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little opening time lapse there. It, uh, I know it's defor deforestation, but there's a purpose behind it because it's going to lead into what we're working on today. So, uh, I have actually gone ahead and expanded our little path network here. Um, I decided to do this off camera because, well, it's just the path and it's not exactly very enticing. But I thought the trees might be a little, little more interesting and give you kind of an idea of what we're going to be up to this episode. So, um, for this uh, episode, the well, I'm just going to quickly show you here the little the little path just kind of comes along the ridge line here and then meets up just down over here by the by the cow pasture. But that's not where what we're planning on doing today. I was kind of just running around looking for a project to do, and you know we did the the old castle there with Doctor Kozlovsky, um, kind of a little mess murder type of dude potentially if you haven't seen the little i made a little short video um if you haven't seen it go check it out i'm gonna drop a link in the in the description down below it's only two minutes of your life but it it was a lot of fun for me to kind of put together and i hope you have seen it and have enjoyed it but uh on to bigger and greater things uh this i discovered this little bit of a hole and i feel like my microphone's in the wrong place sorry if you hear this ah um I, there's this little just indentation and I kind of figured you know what I, I could do something with this So I, I think I need to take a couple more of the trees out on that side over there um, and then I need my beacon because well it, it, the, the mine entrance is um, Just right there behind that tree there So that's that's how people get down into the mines, but what if we have like a big old just hole going all the way down to bedrock and then i can kind of decorate the sides and have mine shafts kind of crisscrossing and going around I, I thought that would be kind of a cool idea that we could do this episode so uh yeah i got a big hole to dig and now i'm in it so yeah beacon hole digging stuff let's get to it So at this point, right after I set the beacon up, I realized that, why am I digging this? I just need a hole, and it don't need to be pretty. And I, uh, I have a, I have a lot of gunpowder now. Pardon me, I'll be right back. So before this episode started, I went off and needed to do some grindy stuff for fun. So in this shulker box, is full of sand. So I'm going to make a bunch of... TNT, and um, we're going to blow us a hole, because that sounds like more fun right now. Okay. Beacon is successfully rescued. Uh, I'm just gonna put that away, and um, uh, I think I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, maybe four, four or five kind of pokey holes all the way down into the ground, and then um, yeah, let's uh, let's see how much of a boom we can get going on with those. Okay, we have lots of TNT on the ground now, and um, yeah, I think, uh, I think this is gonna be it. So let's uh, let's see what we can do here.
Okay. Got myself a whole bunch of scaffolding. A little bit of it set up here already. So uh, I'm just going to start working my way down and just kind of smooth out some of these edges. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can make this place look like. All right, everybody. A little bit of a progress update for you. Uh, I've done a little bit of landscaping up at the top here. Just kind of open this space up a little bit, just so we we have options, right? I, I might even take a little bit more of this back here. Not 100% sure. It. We'll, we'll figure out what I'm going to do up here. But right now, um, what I have done is spent a couple of hours just cleaning this up. And as you can tell, um, this ended up being a slime chunk. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's like three slime chunks because there's just, they're everywhere. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, yeah, spent a bunch of time just kind of cleaning up the sides, getting rid of all the little floaty blocks, and it, it looks a whole lot better than it did, which is great. I have also used the, the dirt, as you can see down there, and just kind of mapped out where, where I think some little mine shaft bridges could be kind of going around a little bit, just kind of just to make this a little bit more interesting. And then, of course, you know, we're going to have to go add some you know, leaves and bushes and stuff like that just to make it organic. But the, the first thing I want to build, which I'm really excited about right now, is a crane. And that is going to go right where I'm standing here. So whoever's working down at the bottom of the mines will be able to get, uh, you know, any of the resources or treasures that they find, up, you know, loaded up onto a little platform or basket kind of thing, have it pulled all the way up out of here. And then, uh, yeah, we might have a, you know, a crane here and then maybe a little bit of a, a storage yard here or maybe a waste piles, you know, just a pile of cobblestone, you know, nothing crazy, but just to kind of add those little finer details to really, really try and make this place feel alive. And then, I don't know, somehow I, I've been kind of trying to figure out how I can get uh, maybe some workers going around in here, whether they're, they're in mine carts rolling around or running around. I don't know yet, but uh I'll have to figure that out. But right now, let's hop into a quick little time lapse of uh, me building this crane. And then, uh, yeah, I got, a, I, got a, I got a lot of bridges to build. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. So, crane is all fancy and put together. A um, couple of other things have happened. Um, for one, I uh, I found some hired help that we can use in the mines. Um, two there and two more up here. Um, I did have five. They they murdered their own. They're not very nice. Um, and then I started working on some of the mineshaft bridges in here so just kind of playing around and kind of getting a feel for what kind of design i wanted to go with um i ended up actually i put the little crafting bench there because i needed one and then i just like I, I like it so i need to do more of that kind of thing so some crafting tables some workbenches, just kind of 
stuff um, on the bridges that would have been, you know, kind of in use. Um, probably some mine carts, stuff, furnaces, that kind of thing. Um, but I like this kind of overall feel that I've been going for for the bridges. So I am going to continue working and keep going uh, all the way down there and get the rest of them all put together. So this is uh, going to actually take quite a bit of time. Like, oh, this is far more time consuming than I thought this project was going to be. I thought I might be able to do two little, two little projects in this episode, but that's just not going to happen. So I'm going to keep going and bring you back in when I got some more done. Hey, everybody. Um, so not only is it the next day, it's, it's probably been a, I don't even know, long, a long time has happened since I last recorded. And I have the biggest of progress updates to show you now. So um, we are starting here in the shadow of the big old castle here. And um, yeah, let, let's, let, let me take you on a grand tour of everything I have done in the last 24 hours. Yeah. So fully terraformed. Um, Lots of little custom trees, little spruce trees everywhere. Um, got all of the garden pathing put in. Um, probably about, I want to say six or seven stacks of like coarse dirt smattered all along the paths to kind of make everything have a little bit more character. Um, the carts, so like little little carts here, wheelbarrows. Um, you know, where you, you know, kind of come in here, grab the handles, and, and then you take off the goodies out of the back over to the castle. Um, or, you know, my storage room. Um, yeah. Got those while cleaning up the hole down below. Um, got this little area over here kind of all set up. So just, you know, kind of some piles of cobble for just kind of some rubble. You know, stuff that's being pulled out of the mines that we're not really using and just kind of throwing here for, for giggles. Um, further along the path here, um, continue doing all the little details, you know, rocks, coarse dirt, um, little lanterns just to light some stuff up. Um, some of these trees here were already done when we did the tower, the town center tower there. Um, everything kind of on this side has been added in and a couple more here. Uh, ignore, this is just all of the stuff that was needed to build this um i'll clean that up later um yeah a little bit more kind of going along here just really trying to bring the place alive so and then as i showed you before this path just kind of goes all the way over to the big market trading hall um that i promise i will work on again one day but it kind of joins the area up very very nicely so um the last thing that i'm going to show you is uh the actual mines e yeah lots has happened lots has happened so um a couple of things to kind of share um i can get my butt over here now so i've got um you know a little a couple of little bits and bobs over here just kind of and the workers that have not been pacified yet. It's been so long, and they're still just not. Um, these don't really go anywhere right now, but it, it just kind of is fun to have him, you know, zooming around. Look at a little bit of life and character. Ow. Um, again, this doesn't go anywhere. I might dig this out a little bit more, but I, I am just... I, I'm running out of time. I need to get this kind of finished up so you know using some of the note blocks is uh crates a little furnace mine cart here and then a couple more little barrels and workbenches and things like that um again this doesn't go anywhere but well that's okay um add try to add, try to adding a bunch of greenery to the sides um just to kind of give it a little bit more color and pop because it just this being all just stone was just not looking very good so um here a uh, little cart or platform thing i don't even know what to call it. it is being lifted up by a crane so you know some unwanted rubble um yeah hang on so 
over here, a uh, couple of things to note. This doesn't go anywhere. A um, couple of little finer details here, and then here. I have the amethyst here because this actually linked up to the little tunnel I have, which goes over to my main um, geode where I collect amethyst. It just kind of seemed fitting. And then I actually got kind of lucky because when I was blowing the hole, I forgot that my moss farm was right here, and this this actually got all blown up and opened, which worked out again in my favor because, well, it, it inspired me to say, hey, you know what? If the moss farm is here, why don't I make it look like the moss is kind of creeping out of this hole and kind of expanding and trying to, you know, get to the, the daylight kind of situation, which I thought was kind of cool and kind of fun. So that's where the inspiration for all these little moss ledges kind of came in. Um, how am I? Oh, also, pretty much all of these little nooks and crannies and edges, they're spawn proofed. They're all slabbed because I got sick and tired of cre creepers ninja dive bombing me. And I, I think I got killed by creepers three or four times. A couple more times, they knocked me down to one heart as I was fighting a slime or a skeleton. I, I yeah. I think I've died more doing this project than the entire time on the server already. It's a little ridiculous. Um, just looking for a way how to get down here. <clears throat> Ow. Um, also, I went on an expedition, got a whole bunch of little cobwebs. He stopped moving. Why did you stop moving? Ow. <clears throat> Go. Um, just gonna hide up here for a second. So, a little bit more life kind of just moving around here. So, these guys... Just zooming around on minecarts. I thought it was kind of fun. Um, a little cart here with that I built backwards. Oh well. Um, some iron bean blocks there. Um, these these tunnels actually connect to the mine shaft that is down here. So it is kind of fun that way. So just being able to you know, actually kind of go and do some stuff. Ow. You knocked me into a spider web. Go. Shoe fly. Um, and then, ow, they hurt, um, okay, and then just down here, one more little junction going into, these are existing caves, and then a little bit of a crane work here as well, just, just for fun, um, a lot of this area, like, I, I've, excavated this digging out deep slate actually so a lot of this down here was already open like all of this was just open because all of this i've mined out for deep slate it's a little ridiculous um a lot of this was deep slate this is my non-existent slime farm they just it's a triple chunk apparently and they just spawn in here and i come in and kill them that's all i need i don't need a farm i don't need an actual you know golem run farm so um a couple more Kind of little wheelbarrows here um, with some stuff. This one's been offloaded, so he's waiting for uh, the, the little platformy thing to come back down so we can get loaded up. And then just over here, yeah, all of this, all of this was deep slate that I've mined out. It's a little obscene now that I'm kind of running around and looking at it. This is a ton of deep slate. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, it's also nighttime, but like, Look at this place. I say it like every time, but I just freaking love this look. It is just so cool, and I somehow need to get this to be a thumbnail. Alrighty, folks, but that's going to have to wrap this episode up here. It has been a long time. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed this project. I really have. It's It's come together so well. And I truly do love it. And I hope you do too. Um, but I gotta, I gotta wrap this one up and put a bow on it and get it edited and uploaded still. So I hope you all have enjoyed. Thank you for sharing your day with me. I truly have appreciated it. And if you did like it, maybe drop yourself, maybe drop me a like, a comment, or maybe even a little sub if you want to come back and see what else I get up to in this world. I would, I would appreciate any any feedback you you folks feel like sharing. So uh, until next time, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.